Hi everyone, this is Marcy from Dragonfly Avenue. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make a button in Adobe XD. Okay, so this is going to be a pretty quick tutorial, but I just wanted to show anyone who didn't know how to make one. Okay, so let's start with this pill-shaped button. We're going to grab this uh, square shape and we're going to hold it down to make it a rectangle. Um, right here, we're going to change this to, I always put 800 because that's what I feel like. Um, it could probably be smaller, but there you go. And now you have like the rounded edges for the pill shape. You can change the color. You can add a border color if you'd like. Um, how, like, I see you can change things to fit your, to fit your style. Okay, next we're just going to do... Learn more. Or click here. Okay, let's resize that so it's not so so bad. Okay, so now you have your text, and when you hover over this, you can kind of see that it's showing you that it's centered. But if you want to make sure, um, have that selected. Have your text selected. Uh, hold down Shift and select the bottom shape. And you can click these up here to align them correctly. And when they're both selected, just um, Command G to group them together. And you have a button. Okay, so let's say um, you want to keep a rectangle uh, to grab the square tool or square shape. Make a rectangle. Again, you can change this color. Let's say you don't want a border. Let's make it black. Um, I'm just going to grab this text here so I don't have to type it out again. And there you have another button. And let's say you want this just a border. So you can pick your border color and then remove the fill. Oh, I don't know why I made that white. Okay, there we go. And then change this fill color to black. Uh, select both, Command G. And there you go. Now you know how to make a couple buttons. And if you want to, let's say, hover this, double click to select that back. If you want to add a drop shadow, you can click uh, shadow here. Let's change that to 10. So now you have a bit of a drop shadow. Okay, that is how you make a button in Adobe XD. Uh, I hope that's helpful to anyone. Um, feel free to follow along, subscribe, click the notifications, and check out dragonflyav.com for more tutorials, tips, and design services. Thanks so much. Bye.